Welcome to White Doodle Workshops, sponsored by DLR Libraries, supporting Ireland Reads. Today we're going to create a picture about the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This is what you will need. Paper, pencils, paint sticks, markers, crayons, paint, whatever you have will do. Today I'm using paint sticks. So let's get started. Start on the left hand side of your sheet and draw a small oval. Continue these ovals all up and above and down to create the shape of your caterpillar. Repeat them over and over again. Now we're going to draw his head and his antennas. There are two upside down tiers, two circles for his eyes, a circle inside and a circle for his mouth. I'm going to add some little feet in too. I'm going to put some soil under his feet using a brown paint stick. Using a mixture of greens and yellows I'm going to blend to make the caterpillar's body. You can use your finger to blend paint sticks. I'm going to then colour in the head and the antennae in the face and the feet. Don't worry if you go outside the lines, we're going to outline the picture after. Using the edge of your paint stick, outline your caterpillar. Now add details in the background, such as grass and the sun. You can even add some of the fruits from the story in the background. You can create your caterpillar picture in many ways. This one is a collage and it's used by cutting out pieces of paper and sticking them down. And we also use paint sticks. So this is called mixed media. This one is just a mixture of paint as well. So whatever you have to hand, you can use to create your picture. Remember to try and squeeze in a read. Today we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon there lay a little egg on a leaf. One sunny morning when the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry little caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday he ate through one apple but he was still hungry. On Tuesday he ate through two pears but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one slice of cherry cake, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again and the caterpillar ate through a nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now the caterpillar wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. He was a beautiful butterfly. Why not pop to your library and get this book and squeeze in a read either at home or in the library?
Don't forget to share your work with DLR Libraries. We'd love to see them. Thank you to DLR Libraries supporting Ireland Reads.